My name is Konstantin Rotkopf. I'm a founding member of Hessian AI and the founding director of the Center for Cognitive Science here at TU Darmstadt. The classic definition of what is AI by John McCarthy says it's the science and engineering of building intelligent machines, particularly intelligent computer programs. There's a second sentence that often gets omitted, which says it's related to understanding human intelligence with computer programs. That's what we do in, in my research. So I'm a cognitive scientist. We try to understand human intelligence with computer programs by thinking, well, humans have to do information processing. So we would need to understand human perception, decision-making, actions through the rules of information processing. There are important challenges that we are facing that we have to consider. Within Hessian AI, we are of course keenly aware of these problems and we do research on this. So for example, we have a project trying to find out whether these large language models that we know can be very unethical in their behavior, whether they have deep down in them ideas about ethics. And we have shown that actually they do have, you can find these um, ethical norms in these systems. So I I think there are two parts to this question. So one part is we have to do more research to understand what are the ethics in these machines, what are their ethical implications, and then there is a second part which is how can we make sure that things that we as a society want to enforce are also being followed by these systems. I think the main challenge at the moment is that we have systems that we develop as scientists which get deployed all of a sudden into products. And we as scientists still don't understand many of the properties of these systems, let alone how humans and these systems interact. So a lot of research is really required to understand this better. And the challenges now arise because these systems are supposed to produce lots of profits and are being deployed, but we don't understand them yet. So we have to make sure that whatever system gets out, gets into a product, well, has certain properties so that we have at least an idea how they affect human lives and society as a whole. That's a huge challenge and it won't be solved by scientists alone, but of course scientists have a big part to play into actually understanding this and, and coming up with ideas how to make sure that this works. I think we have to be incredibly grateful for the state of HESSE for supporting Hessian AI because it really allows this um, group of people to come together to do um, AI research, cognitive science research, to exchange ideas. And because we have the opportunity also to get many more colleagues into the state of HESSE, this will be a sizable group internationally, also in comparison internationally, that can work on AI questions. So that's exciting. There are not many places in the world where we have the opportunity to work as here in Hessian AI.